I don't know about you, but I know that when I take a visit to the Disney parks, I'm always kind of curious how much I'm actually spending in a day. Today, we're our park hopping, we're starting at Hollywood Studios, and then we're going over to Epcot. Let's keep going and see how the day goes. I looked at the cost of a park hopper ticket, and it's approximately $214 per day. So we're already starting at $214 per day and $23 for a genie. So we're off to a good step. Let's see what the rest of the day looks like. getting really scary out here. We got into the park and I already had to finish it because we just rode Tower of Terror, which was incredible. But my first purchase of the day is I got a Starbucks cold brew and a bottle of water. And in total, I spent $11.65. So far for the day, we have spent money for a park hopper ticket, Genie Plus, and Starbucks. All right, let's head to Rock and Roller Coaster. Time to rock and roll. In line for Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. Let's replace the great movie ride, rest in peace. It is very similar to Ratatouille. It's a 3D experience without glasses. I like this one, I think it's cute. I don't know about you guys. One thing that I did not pack in my park bag is some snacks. I figured that I'd be snacking all day long at the parks, but I'm kind of hungry. It's 10:22, and I haven't necessarily ate anything, and I could just go for something that gives me a little bit of energy, like an apple, you know. So, piece of advice. You know, these park days, not gonna lie, there are long days, lots of walking, lots of heat, people. Next time, I'm gonna make sure to pack snacks. We're gonna head over to Toy Story Land and we're gonna catch our genie for a Slinky Dog Dash. Let's go. This video is important to me because I feel that people are curious about how much going to Walt Disney World costs. While I may not be the perfect example, I wanted to provide a realistic expectation for you guys for what it might cost for one person to visit two parks in one day. I'm not trying to scare anyone away from going to Disney, but rather show people what they may expect. I think it's easier to save up for Disney when you have a ballpark number of how much things cost. Make sure you stay tuned as I will share tips on how you can save money on your trip to the parks as well. Now, if you've watched this far, I'd really appreciate if you click subscribe subscribe. It'll really help out the channel and so I can make more content like this for you guys. Now let's get back to the video. Watch my board. Sing it. Next purchase of the day is lunch. It's about 11.19. We're at Woody's Lunchbox. I got a grilled cheese with, and it comes with potato barrels. And then I also got one of the seasonal pastries. This one is a July 4th one. I believe they said it has cherry filling on the inside and then on the top it has blue icing. We got a couple waters. Anytime you go to a quick service, always grab a couple ice waters because they're always free. My sister is going to try the Mystic Portal Lunch. Never had that before, so that would be delicious as well. So $9.99 plus $4.29. That's where we're at. Let's eat it and see how it is. My sister and I both felt that the grilled cheese sandwiches weren't anything spectacular. Let's be honest, it has to be really hard to mess up a grilled cheese. The potato barrels, aka tater tots, were delicious, but we weren't taking many risks here. We did every single ride in Toy Story Land. And we had a genie for Swirling Saucers, we had a genie for Toy Story Mania, and we had a genie for Slinky Dog Dash. I don't know, do you think the genie is worth it? We rode every ride with it. So we're gonna walk on through Galaxy's Edge and head on over to Star Tours, and then I think we're gonna officially park up over to Epcot afterwards. Here we go. We are on our way to Epcot. It is 1.55 and we did just about everything in Hollywood Studios. I think the Genie is well worth it because we hardly waited in any long lines at all. Quick kind of recap on how much that we have spent today. Our park hopper ticket, our Genie for the day, the Starbucks, that Woody's lunchbox. Then we stopped at the Indiana Jones pop-up bars, which was really cool, and I got the green tea. Okay, I'm going to include the total right here and we will see where we are at halfway through our park day. And I feel good and I am ready to you head over to Epcot, check out some of the rides, and also check out the Food and Wine Festival, which I'm really excited to check out. Let's go. Just booked a genie for Soren, so that is our first genie that we are heading to in Epcot, and we're gonna head over to Guardians and Mission Space. So first, let's head to the land and ride Soren.
Time to be real for a second. I've hit that midday slump. It's 318. I'm getting hungry. I just did soaring, did living with the land. There are definitely slower rides, and when you're already kind of tired, they just make you a little even more tired. So I'm ready to get my adrenaline pump in. We're gonna head to Guardians, and I'm excited for that one. This will be Kimmy's first time for Guardians. One thing I did learn from living with the land is that many of the things in the Food and Wine Festival are grown over there. So there was a couple things like a tikka masala, and then there was a gyro at the grease booth that I would love to try. So I'm thinking we're gonna do our Guardians virtual queue, and then we are going to head, and I'm gonna get some food because I am getting hungry. Let's go. But this is my absolute favorite ride in all of Walt Disney World, so I am really excited to ride it. Guardians, so good. We got Conga. Love that one. Kimmy, what do you think of the ride? 10 out of 10. Yeah, I agree. 10 out of 10. Do you want to do that one again? Yeah. Yeah, me too. So my heart rate was up. So much fun. I love that one. I'm awake now, that's for sure. We're going to go grab some food, see what the International Food and Wine Festival is all about, and just enjoy the rest of our day. Stay tuned, rope droppers. It's 4.44 and the weather is cooling down so it's not near as hot. I am going to hit up this India booth for the Food and Wine Festival. So let's go check it out. We got the tikka masala, chicken tikka masala with some naan bread and white rice underneath. This cost me $6.25. Get some film of that. Let's take a bite. I love tikka masala. I feel like the rice could be better, but the chicken and the actual sauce is pretty good. Let's try the naan. I would say 3.5. I feel like I can make a pretty good tikka masala. I got the red sangria from Spain. This is part of the Food and Wine Festival. This was $6.50, so we can add that to my total. Was this a necessity of the day? When you're in Epcot, I feel like it is. So let's give it a try. Ooh, that is good. Very refreshing and cold. I give it a 4.3. Cheers. We're gonna come and get one of my favorite treats to get in France. So you can get these anytime. This is not just part of the Food and Wine Festival. We have all kinds of different flavors. Truthfully, I don't know what the flavors are, but I'm not really picky when it comes to macaroons. I guess we'll find out. Try this one. Oh yeah, that's caramel. That is delicious. 4.8, easily. These are good, love them. We are taking a little break. Our coffee will get to you. Walking on your feet all day is exhausting in any circumstance. We got some Starbucks drinks. I got a Smart Water. Also got Passion Tango Tea for a little bit of pick-me-up. Just a tip, a way to save money is by getting ice water throughout the park, bringing a water bottle and just filling it up with water fountains and things like that as well. All right, rope droppers, we are on the way out of Epcot. The total that I have spent so far without including the park hopper ticket price is 101.07. That is what we have spent. Park hopper ticket does cost another 214. It is important to budget of how much you're spending throughout the day. Could have saved money on water. I spent probably around five dollars every single time I got water. I did get a souvenir. I got a t-shirt so that was about 35 bucks. You got a budget for your souvenirs. You're definitely gonna spend money on some souvenirs. Make sure to include final total right here in the video. I think I'm out for the night. It's been a great day. We've had so much fun. I would be lying if I said we weren't a little bit tired or maybe a lot of it tired. I'm out rope droppers.